The highest example of women in knowledge, purity, patience and piety that history has ever known is Sayyida Fatima She was brought up in the house of revelation and grew in the hands of her father Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and thus she was the vessel of Imama. Her mother is Sayyida Khadija salam. Her husband is Amir al-Mu'mineen Imam Ali salam, and their two sons Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain salam. Sayyida Fatima inherited the wisdom, courage, determination, generosity, self-sacrifice and nobility of her father Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Imam Hussain salam, once said, I often saw my mother absorbed in prayer and her children always noticed that she prayed for the neighbours and others before she prayed for herself and her family. Sayyida Fatima's generosity to the poor and her compassion for them was well known and numerous incidents are recorded in history to show that no one ever came asking at her door and was returned empty-handed. Even if she had little, she would give away her share of food and stay hungry. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to call Sayyida Fatima alayhi salam the leader of the women of the world, Sayyidatun Nisa al Alameen. After the passing away of her mother, Sayyida Fatima alayhi salam used to look after her father. Whenever he came home after preaching, wounded and covered in blood, she would tend to his wounds and bandage them. And for this reason, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to call her Um Abiha, which means the mother of her father. Often the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would be heard saying, Fatima is part of me, and who makes her angry, makes me angry. The Prophet of God also said, Four women are the best among all in paradise. Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh, Maryam, the daughter of Imran, who was the mother of Prophet Isa, Khadija, the wife of the Prophet Muhammad, and Fatima, the daughter of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them all. Someone asked one of the wives of the Prophet after he had passed away, who was the most beloved to the Prophet of Allah, and she replied, Fatima, and then was asked, who did he love the most from the men? And she replied, the husband of Fatima, Imam Ali salam. The Prophet said, indeed Allah ordered me to marry Fatima to Ali. And he also said, if it was not for Ali, there would have been no match to marry Fatima. Peace and blessings be upon them all. On the calamity of Thursday, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said to his companions, bring me a piece of paper and ink pot to write you a book by which you shall not go astray at all. Unfortunately, he was denied this and this is very defaming to his personality, disparaging his position and ignoring his favours that he had done for all of humankind. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, left for the better world, Sayyidah Fatima alayhi salam suffered severe distress and misfortunes. She received aversion and cruelty. She cried day and night and called out to her father, Such afflictions have befallen me after you have passed away. If they were to befall on a day, it would change to a dark night. Sayyidah Fatima alayhi salam was martyred at a very young age. This was only a few months after her beloved father passed away. Imam Ali alayhi salam conducted her funeral rites and buried her secretly in the middle of the night. We surely belong to Allah and to Him we shall return.